shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things everyone. I How don't. are we? Hope you're all really, really well I hope I'm in focus, I actually can't see. So I am all the way over here. I am gonna come and sit just there, but I need to moisturize my body. I fake tanned last night, and sometimes, right, I can fake tan and wake up the next morning and feel all right. Sometimes I can wake up the next morning and my body feels like it's had all of the moisture sucked out of it, so I'm just absolutely putting loads of soap and glory body butter on does then does this give anyone else like a blast from their past is that scent that will forever just take me back to like my school days so i hope you're all well hope you're all having a lovely week so far it is currently monday morning it's beautiful weather did anyone else like die in the heat last week i feel like i am just not just making sure i'm not flashing you um, I am not cut out for the heat guys, I'm just not, I say it every year, you'd think I would know this by now but every single year it gets to like 21 degrees and I am sweating like a pig, like it's just, I don't think it's normal. Last week was honestly like it was such a shock to the system because we'd had such bad weather, my body just couldn't cope, I had a headache, I was grumpy. I wanted to just lay and just sweat all day. That sounds disgusting. But but I actually had a Zoom call um, with a lady who lives in Australia last week. And she was like, oh my God, it's freezing here. So I was like, oh, how cold is it? She was like 22 degrees. And I thought like, oh my God, how, how hot must it actually get? I mean, it's hot here when it's like 23 degrees, like, at that point, I feel like I need an aircon unit. That's my dream, you know, getting an aircon unit. Maybe that's something to look into in the new house. How amazing would that be? Oh, why do I look like Mother Mary? Take that off my head. This is your sign to get one of these water bottles. Blooming amazing, I love it so much. Everyone does laugh at me when I whack this out and start drinking it, but it ensures I drink a lot of water. So for skincare today, I'm gonna to be showing you some of my holy grails, which you guys have heard me speak about before. But this part of today's video is actually sponsored by Elemis, which I actually can't believe I'm saying. I feel really honored actually that they want to work with me. You guys know I have adored all types of Elemis products, literally since about 2014. I just feel really, really proud that I'm working with them. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys some of my Holy Grail products. I will leave everything linked in the description box down below. And I also have a discount code as well, which I'll pop on screen and I'll also leave that down below. But can you guess the first product that we are starting with today? Of course, really be anything other than the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. You already know I'm completely and utterly obsessed with this product. If you are looking for something that is just going to melt off everything off your face, makeup, dirt, sweat, anything, this is the product for you. It is just such a luxury product to have. They actually do a few different scents. Um, my two favourites are the original one, which is the Yellow Cleansing Balm, um, and this smells like a spa. Most relaxing scent, and when I actually use this, especially at night time, the tiniest little amount, and I like to rub it between my fingers, and it goes almost like, it goes like butter. I like to almost like hold it here and breathe it in, because it, it smells like sleep spray, like it really does just make you feel lovely and relaxed. I also love the Rose um, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm as well because that one, my skin just loves Rose, so I kind of switch between the two. So I use the Cleansing Balm morning and night. I use it to remove makeup and I also as well sometimes use it as a little mask. Like if my skin is feeling incredibly dry, especially after like popping fake tan on, my skin almost feels like it just needs, just needs a little moisture boost. 
and what you can actually do is I sometimes like to pop this on and just leave it on for 10 minutes like whilst I'm in the shower or whilst I'm like getting ready for bed brushing my teeth and stuff and when I take it off my skin feels so hydrated and it's just left so glowy. Cleansing balm you will actually receive a muslin cloth which I like to just remove it with it honestly just cannot even tell you how amazing your skin feels after using the cleansing balm i actually do you know what i love every single one of lms's products like i truly truly love everything so it was actually really hard picking a few of my favorites but the products that i've chosen today are my holy grails if i had to choose four like i said to myself if you had to choose four elemis products what would they be and i wanted to pick products as well that i feel like go really nicely together and almost create like a skincare bundle if you don't have a lot of time in the mornings something that is literally going to transform your skin and maybe if you don't really have a skincare routine at the moment this one is so easy so my next holy grail elemis product is the dynamic resurfacing facial pads these are amazing again you can use these day and night they are literally just little cotton wool pads like this and you only need one these are like a really light exfoliation for your face and i just feel like my face always feels really fresh after using these and it also leaves your skin just feeling so smooth um so i like to just use one of these um but it's really good because you can really like get into areas like around your nose which I find can collect like a lot of dirt. They smell gorgeous as well. They almost smell a little bit like cucumbery. Like they just make your skin feel really, really fresh. And I like to use these after cleanser because I feel like it just gives my skin a little bit of a little bit of an extra boost. Okay, for moisturizer, I have two favorites, one for day and one for night. For daytime, it is of course the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. If you don't have this in your life, you need it. It is such a beautiful, gentle moisturiser, but your skin just feels like tighter. It looks glowy. It feels moisturised. It's a really, really beautiful light cream. A light moisturiser, like it doesn't feel heavy on your skin. I can't stand anything that feels like heavy or greasy on my skin. And this really does. I find anyone that uses the marine cream just loves it. Uh, my sister recently started using it and it's literally her favourite moisturiser ever. I just feel like it really suits any skin type. It's incredible anti-aging cream as well, like it really does reduce the sign of wrinkles and just keep your skin looking super youthful. And then my favourite night cream ever, the Elemis Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. This is basically magic in a pot. I used to use this all the time and then I ran out and I started using up some other ones that I have in my skincare cupboard and I recently started using this probably for like the last two weeks and oh my goodness I forgot you know when you like don't have a product for a little while you forget how much it actually makes a difference. This is amazing it's a lovely thick cream again it doesn't feel heavy it really like absorbs into your skin and in the morning like the morning after popping this on your skin just feels so tight and hydrated and I just feel like it it almost like gives you new skin overnight um I can't explain it it really is a beautiful beautiful cream and then last but definitely not least the pro collagen rose hydra mist now Jamie actually bought me this when we went to center park spa a while ago I feel like that was like must have been last year sometime and i love it so much you guys know i love like a mist especially if i'm having a no makeup day and i want my skin to just feel really hydrated throughout the day and this goes really really beautifully in hand with the rose cleansing balm so if you are looking for like a little a little package those two together would be beautiful they'd also make a really beautiful gift Again, this is great for sensitive skin. My skin can be really, really sensitive sometimes and I feel like Elemis as a whole is just really gentle on my skin. So if you do have sensitive skin, then I feel like the Elemis products will really, really just suit your skin. Um, so with this, I like to give it a little shake and then just spritz this over my face. And like I said, it will give your skin hydration all day and it will it will just leave it looking like really radiant and bright and glowy. So that's all my favourite products from Elemis for a really easy, beautiful skincare routine. Um, I will leave everything linked down below. Don't forget that I have a discount code and I am just super grateful for this collaboration because 
this genuinely is a dream like this is one of my wildest dreams that has come to life so thank you guys for always just supporting me Tilly and Teddy both love these sticks that we got from Amazon <laughs> and they're basically catnip sticks. I'll link them in the description but you like shave them and this is literally what they do. They just like rub on this stick. <laughs> you enjoying that my darling? Oh my god I love it when they hold something in their paws. <laughs> very cheap and very much loved little cat toy. <laughs> You're having a great time. Oh, she's like, do not touch my stomach. Tilly doesn't really like her tummy being touched. Teddy, on the other hand, loves a tummy rub, but Tilly, not so keen. And of course, this one has just heard his sister playing with something and is very intrigued what it is. And it's probably gonna end up in a cat fight because that's what usually happens. Tilly's a great big sister. Tilly just lets Teddy have anything that he wants, even her food. She will give up her food, but... Oh! Teddy, she's giving you an olive branch there. And she's like, if you're not going to have it, I'll continue rubbing on it. <laughs> oh dear, cat fight is about to commence. Rubbing around my feet. Hey, okay. why are you rubbing around my feet? Oh, hello, Perry boy. Look how big Teddy is now. He's honestly gigantic. I was, I fell down the rabbit hole of watching old videos of him the other day, and he was just so diddy. He was so small. You're a huge boy now. So I just had a little clear up of the kitchen. Um, also made myself a coffee, and then we had about a, a delivery of about a million more boxes. Um, so in the last vlog you guys would have seen the living room is basically full of boxes. It's like that times two now, but luckily Jamie's actually taking them to the warehouse tomorrow. Um, so I'm excited to like have the house back. Um, but yeah, they are going to the warehouse tomorrow, ready for launch on Friday. When you guys see this launch, it'll be Sunday when you guys see this. So our launch is actually on Friday the 11th, which is in a few days, which feels absolutely surreal. Um, I'm really, really, really excited, feel a little bit nervous, because I don't know, it just, uh, I can't even speak. I feel like it's it's been something we've been working on for literally like six months. But yeah, it just feels really surreal that you guys will actually get to like hold it now. You'll actually get to have it. Um, which is really, really exciting. And the thought of that alone just makes me really happy. So I'm very much looking forward to Friday. Um, today actually is, I was gonna say an exciting day. It's not really very exciting. Um, this evening, I, I'm actually getting my lips dissolved. I told you guys about this in my last vlog and so many of you asked if I could vlog it and kind of like tell you about the experience. So I thought, this is actually what inspired me to do a weekly vlog because I thought if I do a weekly vlog this week, we can watch my lips deflate together. How fun. Um, no, but on a serious note, I can kind of like update you guys each day. And I think it'll be like, I think it'll be kind of cool to see like, see the progress. Um, I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, mainly because I am a baby with pain. Um, and a lot of people... I've heard people say that like, it doesn't hurt when they get lip fillers. I think it's excruciating. Like I actually think it's really, really painful. And apparently getting them dissolved is meant to hurt more than actual filler. So, I mean, I'm worried about that. Um, but I am a baby with pain. Like I just, I hate the thought of like blood and needles and like when ooh, I'm getting anything done, it makes me think of blood. And I think that makes it worse. Um, 
but yeah that's the plan for this evening i'm nervous because i haven't seen my natural lips in about six years i have no idea like also another thing i was thinking as well they're not going to look the same as they looked obviously six years ago because obviously i look different to what i looked six years ago and also another thing i thought i didn't have um my teeth done six years ago so like and now my teeth gonna look really like hi i'm here i don't know literally it is the unknown and the unknown scares me um but we'll do it together guys we will do it together it will be fine i'm excited to see what it looks like um i'm also having tonight as well strawberry laser you guys know i had four sessions of that last year and i loved it like i love the results of strawberry laser um it basically just tightens all of your jaw and makes it like super defined no needles no anything like that it's literally it takes an hour you basically sit there with like a warm thing on your neck and it tightens all of your jaw and i really really love that treatment it's a really relaxing one as well um and it gives me and annalisa a chance to like catch up i'm going to 360 aesthetics where i always go for anything like that um i've been going there years and i love i love how she does everything um so yeah gonna be going there this evening um i'm excited to take you guys along i won't be showing you any needles or anything like that because i personally hate seeing needles so i'll probably just chat to you before i go in and then i'll maybe do like a little time lapse of the strawberry laser and then i'll show you them as soon as i come out um but i won't be showing any actual like needles because number one i can't edit it back and number two I don't know like some people love watching that don't they but no i won't vlog that i'll just show you guys when i come out i've been watching loads of um videos on youtube of people that have vlogged it um and i think there's a, meant to be a lot of swelling when you come out because obviously like your lips are full of fluid of the dissolvent so i'm scared so i really wanted to get in the flow of doing weekly vlogs more often because we are moving in three weeks guys three blooming weeks how crazy is that and i kind of want to like because there's going to be so much going on over the next three weeks i want to get into the flow of like weekly vlogging so i can kind of like document it all bring you guys along with us as much as i possibly can um so that's something i really want to i really want to do more of and i love filming weekly vlogs as well i feel like i prefer them way more than like day vlogs um just because i feel like they're a lot more i don't know i like i like the thought of like being able to chat to someone every day moving vlogs are coming they are coming i know you guys are excited empty house tour um but yeah i have ordered a skip which is coming week after next i'm actually counting down the days because this house has become the junkyard um there's a lot of just stuff like just stuff that i've hoarded I failed at minimalist life again, again. Every time I move house, I'm like, I want to be the most organized, minim minimalistic person. And I fail at every hurdle, to be honest. Um, so I'm really gonna try this time and I feel like Jamie will help me keep on top of that, which is good. So I've got a skip coming and I feel like I've just got a lot of like, you know, like stuff that like no one else would want it. Do you know what I mean? Like anything like that, I will obviously give to a charity shop or like give away to whoever wants it. But there are certain things like we've got broken drawers in the office, which can just go in the skip because they are unfixable. Um, and then like stuff like old cups and old glasses and old like cutlery and like baking dishes that genuinely look about 50 years old like all of that kind of stuff can just go in the skip and also i feel like it motivates me as well because if i know that i've got to like sort everything out and go to the skip and go to the actual big dump a million times a week like i would just be like right i'll just hoard more whereas if i know there's a skip on the drive it can just be thrown out there which i like the thought of it motivates me to get rid of lots of stuff so that's the plan over the next few weeks lots of organizing lots of packing um and just sorting my life out really and then there'll be moving vlogs empty house tour um like organizing all the rooms i also i feel like i've got so much to say um i also ordered my wardrobe yesterday 
um, and Jamie's wardrobe as well. We got matching ones. So I can like visualize my dressing room now, which is really, really, really exciting. That's one room that I've always just dreamt of having, just like a room full of wardrobes, all of my clothes being beautiful and organized um, and just having a place for everything. That's what I'm most looking forward to. So yeah, exciting times ahead. Um, I felt a little bit stuck with like my content. I feel like over the past month, I just feel like my heart just hasn't been in it at all. We've really, really been, I did mention this in my last vlog, but I feel like our life has literally been on hold for the past like month. It's been very like mundane, like same thing, day in, day out. There's been so much going on. Because I felt so unsettled and like felt so in limbo, I just felt like, I just felt really, really uninspired. And I also find as well when the house is a mess or there's a lot of stuff, I can't see past that and I find it really, really hard to be like, just be inspired by anything. But then this week, I feel completely different because I know the boxes are going tomorrow. Um, I know the launch is this Friday and it's June and June is when we move. So like, I feel like there, there's like a light at the end of the tunnel. So I feel really like good about filming now because I feel like there's gonna be a lot going on. Um, so yeah, thank you for sticking around. If my vlogs have been a little bit boring for the past few months, I feel like I've just been waiting to move. Um, but I appreciate you sticking around and I promise there will be more interesting content to come. Lots of moving vlogs, lots of like room transformations. Um, and yeah, like a whole new chapter, a whole new area. We're gonna move to a whole new area that we can explore. Um, there's meant to be a flipping incredible garden centre, like literally five minutes away from our house, which I've heard amazing things about. They do the most amazing food. Christmas at this garden centre is a new level, so can't wait to like go there at Christmas with you guys. So yeah, that's all our life updates. Um, my life will be more interesting very, very soon. I promise. Also, my smoothie bowl game is about to go through the roof. So at the weekend, I stumbled across this Instagram page um, and I ordered some frozen fruit. Would I recommend doing it? I don't know, I haven't tried the fruit yet. It was expensive, like for what I got, it was expensive, but I kind of got suckered in by the packaging and the thought of having these unreal smoothie bowls. Um, so I'll try them and I'll let you guys know if it's worth it or not. But it's from a company called Amavida for the love of fruit. Um, and I picked up loads of bits, which I'm really, really excited to look at. So, let me show you what I got. Let's get into this bag. Oh. Okay, obviously because it's frozen, it's like coated in something, but what it's coated in looks like loft installation. And I actually have a phobia of loft installation. It creeps me out. I don't know what it is. Like, I physically cannot go into the loft if there's that, <sighs> the thought of it, that fluffy stuff. Ugh. And sometimes when JB goes in the loft and bits fall out, it just makes me like, it gives me that feeling on my teeth that like, oh, I can't explain it. But there's lots of that in here. I've just like tried to make a hole in it to get to the goods. Um, but let me show you, like, look. The bag with the fruit in it is like inside this, in there, but that is creepy. Right, right, I got the bag out. Don't know what to start with. Let's start with the granola. So I picked up some cardamom and apricot granola. How incredible does that sound? Can you guys see? How incredible does that sound? I know for a fact that's gonna be so nice. Then I also picked up some coconut. Um, these are like little frozen drops, um, which I think will be nice. I love the taste of coconut in everything. And I don't know, I just, I, it was this. This was the picture that made me buy it. I was like, wow, that smoothie bowl looks so thick. Like look at the consistency. And then I thought maybe if I change up my fruit, they might look like this. So I got some coconut. Um, I also picked up some mango. Again, everything's in like these little drops. Then I also picked up some new acai. 
um i love these packs and i can only ever find them on a cardo so i got some of these i think also they do the acai drops i thought that i bought them but i actually didn't these are just the normal packs that i use um then i also got some frozen banana again these are the little balls and i just thought like that looks so creamy yeah the picture suck of me and what can i say and then i also picked up some dragon fruit i have never in my life tried dragon fruit but the thought of having like a hot pink smoothie bowl it just appealed to me um so i'm gonna try that as well i made an unreal smoothie bowl yesterday and we had frozen mango frozen strawberries and a fresh banana oh, it was beautiful like probably the nicest smoothie bowl i've ever made so i think today i'm gonna use some of the frozen banana frozen mango and some coconut and I might chuck like a normal banana in there as well. See what that's like. And it was like a beautiful peachy colour as well. And then I also picked up, because it would be rude not to, and I had to pay delivery. So I was like, I may as well like get more. Does anyone else do that? I got some more coconut bowls. This is like a really large one. Like this is it compared to my head. Eating a smoothie bowl out of a coconut bowl, it, the experience is just so much better. Um, so I got two of these, wooden spoon, which... I'm not a fan of i can't even put that on my teeth it gives me the um you know when you are eating an ice lolly and you bite the stick oh sends shudders up my spine also speaking of ice lollies i did our online food shopping order the other day i ordered all the ice lollies and i've got some new faves that i want to show you because it was so hot last week i was like we need ice lollies because i was in bed and i was just boiling and i was like I could really do with like a nice solero so look at my ice lolly drawer <gasps> so many so i picked up Lil del monte mango smoothie just thought this would be really really delicious and just refreshing um on a hot day then i also picked up these which i've been dying to try i haven't tried a watermelon one yet but me and jamie had a strawberry one the other day and they are so nice it basically tastes like you know twisters you know the red bit the best bit tastes like that and then the green bit is like lime flavored then I also picked up these, which I thought looked really, really nice, called Smooths. And these are mango and coconut flavoured, like, jubblies. But I love a jubbly. Um, and then I also got, as well, some Soleros, which are delicious. I've got some tropical ones and some berry ones. Super yum. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Natural smoothie, I used frozen mango, frozen banana and coconut and then also some coconut milk. And then I've just topped it with lots of fresh fruit, um, some of the granola, some chia seeds, and also some toasted coconut flakes, which are amazing. And then I also just pop some honey on top as well. Right, let's give it a taste test. I don't know which bit to go for first. Let's go for a bloob. Oh no, I wanna try some of the granola with the smoothie, yum. That granola, I just need to take it all in. Oh my God. That granola is incredible and the smoothie, this sounds really weird, tastes a lot more like smoother and creamier. I don't know what they put in that frozen fruit, but it's worth every penny. What do you think of your smoothie bowl? Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Is it as good as yesterday? Mmm. Jamie thought the like smoothie this. was good. Do you? Hi guys. I'm not allowed to talk to Jamie in the day anymore, so that's no. why I'm so chatty today. Um, <laughs> you have to talk to someone, don't you? Yeah. Well, actually, no, I think I'm actually quite like a 
I think I'm like quite a quiet person. Like I do like, I don't, I don't know. You are not a quiet person. I'm not a quiet person, but I don't like. You never stop speaking. Oh, hang on, is that the door? But I like my, I like, I don't know. I like my thinking time, but basically I am not allowed to talk to Jamie in the day anymore because apparently I'm distracting. Um, so now he has a signal. If he wears his headphones, I'm not allowed to disturb him. <laughs> and ooh, if, yeah, if he wears his headphones, I'm not allowed to disturb him. Um, but he's allowed to disturb me all the time. So mm -hmm. I don't know how that one works. I keep it to a minimum. So do I. I only feel? tell you important things. That's not true. I That's only ever disturb you to tell you important things. Mm -mm. Like where things are going in my dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> That's what ticked him over the edge yesterday. I was like, <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> I just don't you know. know what dressing table to get and that tipped you over the edge, didn't it? And we had a we had a bit of a disagreement and I I'm quite aware sulked that sulked in the other room. A website launches in like four days. Mm. And I, it's not finished. I like your opinion on things. Mm, well, soon, Jamie. This time in three weeks, we're going to have our own offices and you'll miss me then. Jamie said he's going to get face recognition on his office door, apparently. With only his and Teddy's face on it, so no girls allowed by the looks of things. What's this up to? I was using it as a tripod. I'm going to put it back. <laughs> have they seen the living room? Mm -mm. I'm not talking about living room. It's going tomorrow. I just keep telling myself that in my mind. Every time I walk past the living room, I'm like, it's going tomorrow, it's going tomorrow, it's going tomorrow. It's not tomorrow. What? You said you've got the van tomorrow? Hmm. Evening. Hmm. Still tomorrow. Hmm. What do you think of the granola? Hmm. Really like delicious. It. What's in your smoothie? Hmm. The new frozen fruit that I ordered. Banana, mm. coconut. Creamy. Hmm. Isn't it? This is what I said. See, it was expensive. Like, to the point where I was like, this is just frozen fruit, like, why is it so expensive? It's different, isn't it? Where's the box? I don't know. Ugh, the box is well weird, it's got loft installation in it. <laughs> what do you mean? It's got Let's loft installation in the box. <clears throat> it's horrendous. And you know my phobia of oh, loft installation? What? Yeah, I know! So, the frozen bag was inside all of the loft installation. Do you think that's obviously to keep it... Well, doesn't that warm things up? Why, mm -mm. How weird. It's just an insulator, so it keeps cold in or hot in. Oh, uh, okay, I get you. Yeah, it was creepy because I had to literally, like, make my way through that to get to the fruit. <laughs> Why do you still have lips on your face? Well, turns out I am allergic to dissolvent, which, like, I just can't believe. So basically, went to Annalisa's last night, we did my strawberry laser um, first, and then we were gonna do dissolving my lips, obviously after that. And we did a little patch test in my arm here. You can kind of see the little needle mark. And she put the tiniest little drop of dissolvent in my arm and within like seconds my entire arm like it felt really tingly and i said to annalisa is it meant to tingle and she was like absolutely not 
and we were looking at my arm and this part went like all bubbly and literally you could see it going like down my veins like there was patches all the way down to my wrist and all the way up to my shoulder and it felt like quite warm and itchy um so yeah we didn't go ahead with it because obviously that would have been a huge risk to put that to put any more of that in my body but especially in my face like could you guys imagine like allergic reactions are so scary because they can happen within seconds and like if your airways start to close you know it's, it's just very very dangerous so yeah thank god we did a patch test if any of you guys are ever looking to get anything put into your face or body or anything or even like hair dye please have a patch test because do you know what i was one of those people that have always kind of been like oh, i won't be allergic to it just do it like i i will admit been extremely naive to think that it's gonna be hard to find something that we can dissolve my lips with because annalisa said the likelihood is if i'm allergic to the one we were going to use that's like the safest one to use um and the likelihood is I'm probably going to be allergic to most of them. The other option to actually dissolve your lips without injecting them is with laser. But the only problem with that is it will only break down the filler and it won't completely remove it. So I feel a little bit like, you know, like a little bit, I was going to say deflated, wrong choice of word. I feel a little bit like sad because I was excited to go back to being a little bit more natural and it's always the case that now I know I can't physically have it done I want it even more guys know I truly believe everything happens for a reason there must have been a reason for me not to get them dissolved last night so yeah I'll keep you guys updated just in case any of you are allergic to the dissolvent as well with what kind of like solutions we come up with I am going back for my second session of strawberry laser in two weeks so Annalisa has actually ordered um, she spoke to her prescriber and they have recommended a different type of dissolvent so same thing in two weeks I'll take you guys along with us hopefully it's a bit more successful um, second course of strawberry laser I have four in total um, each one two weeks apart and we'll give it a go again we'll try again um, but I'm obsessed with my strawberry laser. I love it so, so much. I can really, really notice a difference. It makes your face instantly looks like more contoured and it just really, like all of my jaw and my neck feels so much tighter. Like I love that treatment so much. So, yeah, that was the positive out of last night and I also got to catch up with Annalisa, which is always just lovely. Um, but we'll try again in two weeks time. Do you know what, when I was driving home, because it's about an hour away drive, I was kind of thinking like, what would be the reason behind this? Like, why would this, like, there's always a reason behind stuff. Like things like don't work out for a reason. And I was like really deeply thinking, did I even want them dissolved? Or was I kind of letting, do you know what guys? I get ridiculous amounts of hate on my lips. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I really get hate about. And it's funny because they're like my biggest insecurity without filler. Um, like growing up they were always like my biggest insecurity. I used to overline them so much and when I finally got filler in them like five years ago I, I actually felt like confident and I actually really liked them. And then now they're the one thing that I get ridiculous amounts of hate for. Um, so I don't know even if I actually wanted them dissolved or I kind of just let that get to me a little bit and thought maybe if I go more natural people will like me more which is literally ridiculous because I have learnt especially doing this job you can never please everyone you can try and be a people pleaser and please everyone and you'll never ever be happy so I kind of was deep thinking last night and I was thinking do I actually want them dissolved um so yeah at least I've got a few more weeks to actually like think about that now but yeah that's why I still have my lips. Um, I actually had to have like two really drowsy antihistamines yesterday. So I had one before I went and then Annalisa gave me a really strong drowsy one. And I didn't wake up until 11 a.m. today, which is actually crazy for me. You guys know that doesn't happen to me. Um, apparently Jamie tried to wake me up loads of times but I was like I'm too tired and I don't remember that at all I remember I came in last night Jamie ordered me Johnny's kitchen so I ate that and then I just kind of like crashed out in bed and you know where you feel like 
you don't really know what you did. I just remember eating my Johnny's Kitchen, laying in bed, and then I woke up at 11 a.m. this morning. So this mo so today has actually been really, really busy because typical, today was the day I had loads to do. Um, so I got up, 11 o'clock, had a shower, um, made another smoothie bowl. I am addicted to them. I literally came home last night just thinking about how good it was. So I made another one of those. I edited tomorrow's video, which you guys probably have already seen actually um if you haven't it's a new in primark video so i've edited that and finished that um and then in about half an hour i need to drop jamie off at the van place so he can pick up a van um to bring it back to take the boxes to the warehouse tomorrow morning but yeah plans for now i want a snack i'd like a snack i don't actually think we oh we've got fresh watermelon forgot about this i chopped up a big watermelon the other day also as well i have got a strange but wonderful combo for you guys to try so i got this from my mum she always used to do this when i was little and she always used to whenever she used to do me a fruit salad she'd always pop a few cocktail cherries on top um it has to be these ones purely because of like the syrup they come in it's delicious so you need to try this next time you have a fruit salad chop all of your fruit up in a bowl like normal and then pop a few of these cocktail cherries on top with the syrup like drizzled like the tiniest little bit it go a little goes a long way and oh my goodness it just adds the most beautiful flavor to your fruit um i sometimes just eat these out the jar as well for a little snack because they are like one of my favourite things in the whole world. They're so yummy. Mmm. Actually, as well, I need to decide what we're having for dinner. I've kind of like, it's strange because I've kind of like fell out of love with cooking recently, which is something I never thought I'd say. Like, I used to love cooking. I think it might be the weather ever since it's got kind of like warm. I just can't really think of anything worse than cooking or like I don't fancy anything. Another update for you guys, vegetarian update. So, I failed basically. I didn't fail because I never said that I was going to be like a 100% vegetarian. I never said that. I said that I was going to, you know, try it, cut down on meat, which I have. We have massively cut down on meat. We used to have chicken pretty much every single night and i'd say we probably have it maybe like twice a week now um so yeah i've cut down massively which i think is good um haven't eaten any other meat apart from i had a sausage the other day on the barbecue um and that's pretty much it but i just found it this sounds really really lazy but i found it a lot of effort and I kind of I kind of felt this is me to be really honest I kind of felt like my my meals weren't as healthy I found with pretty much all of my meals I swapped meat for cheese so I was just eating a shit ton of cheese basically um and I just I didn't feel good for it like I, I didn't feel great um, but I found some great chicken alternatives which we have quite a lot and like I love corn sausages and stuff like that um but yeah, I don't think I'll ever be fully vegetarian, but we've cut down massively, which I think is, it's better than nothing. I think for tonight's dinner, we might have something boring. Um, I might actually do a jacket potato, because I've got loads of frozen jacket potatoes. I might do jacket potato with a nice salad and beans and halloumi. That would be quite nice. Mm. Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry for the lack 
of vlog yesterday i did actually vlog the entire evening um i did a time lapse of jamie loading the van up with boxes i ended up making a really yummy dinner which i was so excited to show you i vlogged all of it um and then this morning i went to pop it all on my computer and my memory card packed up and literally it's now what time is it it's 20 to 2 and Jamie has literally spent all morning and afternoon trying to fix it. We've tried everything. We bought this um, fixer thing that didn't fix it. <laughs> and yeah, it's just been, I feel sad because <sighs> sad that I don't have it. And it kind of like, I hate it when I do a weekly vlog and then there's just, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry that I couldn't salvage it and I feel a little bit down in the dumps about it it is what it is the footage is not coming back um so i will give you a brief description of what happened last night instead so jamie loaded all the boxes up um i cooked a really nice dinner i made this chili coconut chicken um which i fried in the pan and then i did some halloumi and then i made a really lovely salad it's been ages since i made like a really nice salad but i love salads on like hot days i feel like they're just really refreshing um so i made that we ate it in the garden it was really nice we had some ice lollies um jamie built my new chair which i'm sat on right now which i'll show you guys in a moment and then we went to bed and we finished our new series that we're watching um which is incredible you guys told us to watch the pact and it was blooming incredible thank you guys so much it was probably i say this about every series that i watch one of my favorites um would highly recommend it's on bbc iplayer and then we started watching time um we were actually up till so late last night i feel like we were watching tv until like 1am which is not us at all we are usually tv off bedtime at 10 o'clock kind of people um but i feel like there's just it's really hard to switch your brain off especially this week because there's just like the build-up to launch is stressful um and i just don't really need things like this happening today but it is what it is we move on um this morning i sorted all the living room out which actually felt really really nice it felt nice to just have like a clear up in there because that's been like a non-existent room for so long so that felt good i did that then i have just been shooting some campaign content which jamie helped me with this morning um hence why i actually have makeup on and do you know what actually i never really put makeup on anymore like ever unless i've got to shoot something or unless like i'm going out somewhere and i actually forget how nice it makes you feel to just literally just do something with your hair and your face um so i literally have no foundation on whatsoever i just used obviously my skincare routine and then i used the new refi beauty um blusher Oh my god they are in bloody credible and i also just used a little bit of um powder bronzer as well and then mascara and eyebrows and i've got on the charlotte tilbury happy kiss the coral shade um i might have gone a little bit patchy now because i have had a little meltdown cry um because i was actually devastated that i lost all the footage of last night and it's nothing that i can refilm either anyway i'm gonna stop talking about that now let's just move on and take this vlog for what it is jamie reminded me that it's one video it's one video um and i hope you guys still enjoy it and i'm sorry it's not as like i don't know i feel sad anyway um don't be fooled by my surroundings right now this is literally the only wall that I can like i feel like i can take pictures on like the rest of the house is just so full i feel like it's the only like space so what i do now is let me show you i basically we're in the dining room what i have to do is move everything from this area <laughs> this is what it really looks like this is my makeshift tripod with my pampas so it's like in the background um and this is a chair that, that i've literally been dreaming of for so long but it's been out of stock every time i go on h&m um this is the h&m lounge chair i love it so much um it literally came back in stock for like a split second because i was checking every single day and i managed to get it um which jamie built for me last night which i vlogged but obviously you guys can't see 
so yeah i've just been taking some nice pictures here and getting some campaign content and then here is the rest of the dining room so my plan for now is i'm gonna put all of this back sort out in here um and then i feel like the house is tidy which makes me happy and then my plan for this afternoon is obviously it's a lot later in the day than i would have liked um but i am going to pop over to dobby's which is a little garden center which is literally like two minutes away because i heard through the grapevine there's a sainsbury's there um and we've literally run out of all food so i'm gonna pop there and grab something for dinner i also wanted to make today as well but i think i'm now gonna make this tomorrow i wanted to make um this little recipe that i found on pinterest which is basically banana peanut butter you make them into like a little cup and you dip them in chocolate and then you freeze them for like a nice little treat and i also want to make as well some homemade peanut butter cups so i'm gonna get all of the bits for that as well um gonna pop to dobby's pop to mum's and then come back and i'll show you guys what i got and we'll make dinner together part two and let's just let's just pray that this memory card doesn't do that ever again. If I let me figure out where the road goes, even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down Good evening everyone I have just got in from food shopping We actually ended up going to Waitrose in the end um, I picked mum up on the way through and we went there together and both did like a little shop I, by the time I actually went out, Dobby's was closed because it closes at six. Um, so I'm going to venture over there tomorrow and I'll take you guys with me then. But yeah, just popped to Waitrose. Ended up actually getting quite a big shop, which I don't usually do in Waitrose because it costs a bomb. But they've got the nicest things in there ever. Like M&S and Waitrose, I don't know. There's just something about, me and mum were saying, it's the whole experience of shopping there as well. It just, it feels just extremely luxurious um also please ignore the utter state of me this evening i say this every year but how on earth does anyone just look nice in the summer how i look like a toad i feel like a sweating toad i just i physically can't look nice body and face swells in the heat i i just i just don't look good in the summer I really don't and I just I I end up looking like I've been dragged for a hedge um but yeah I am it's now eight o'clock today has honestly just absolutely flown by hang on I'm just put in my water bottle up um ever since this morning when I last spoke to you guys um this afternoon I've just been in the biggest funk ever um just because I felt like I don't know I felt like this vlog was just a fail but then it's not it's just me I know that's just in my head and because something I'm such like a I'm such a planner that when something doesn't go to plan it just completely throws me off and I can so easily be having such a great day and then something can go wrong and it just kind of like tumbleweeds into like I don't know I just was having a bit of a crap day but going shopping Ooh. Tilly <laughs> going shopping this evening has cheered me up and I'm excited to just eat dinner and get in bed to be honest and tomorrow is a new day but I'm gonna do a little waitrose haul because I got lots of yummy bits okay starting over this side I ventured over to the sushi counter and I got 
Jamie and I one of these for lunch tomorrow because I thought they looked so yummy. Didn't realise they were £7.90 until I was at the checkout. Um, so I'm hoping they taste worth every penny, but they look really, really yummy. Um, we've actually got a fresh sushi counter in our Waitrose where they make stuff up fresh, um, which is really, really nice. Then I also picked up as well some of these almond croissants because mum said they're amazing um so i got us both one of those to try which look really yummy then i also just picked up some yogurts our jamie's favorite yogurts and these are my favorite yogurts these literally taste like strawberry donuts and they're also dairy free as well got some fruit over here oh my god guys i found this i have been on the hunt for this for so long i bought it a while ago and haven't been able to find it ever since and i've been run out for a while this is the nicest this is like nutella meets peanut butter it's amazing tastes so nice on toast and i'm very very happy to have this back in my life it was also the last one on the shelf so i feel like it was fate um picked up some bananas my mum actually got me these oranges from MS, which she gave me when i went to hers because Whenever I go to my mum's, she always like cuts me up a really big orange and I'm like, where do you get your oranges from? Because they are amazing. Turns out they are these gigantic ones from M&S. So I'm excited to eat one of those. I got some Doritos to go with our dinner because we're having picky bits for dinner tonight, which is one of my favourite dinners. Strawberries, um, got two different types of granola. I got this coconut cashew and almond one and also a country crisp honey and nut so got some Belvita breakfast biscuits the strawberry yogurt duo crunch ones they just look so yum and then for tonight's little picky bits dinner we have got our doritos i also picked up these sliced focaccia which i thought i could toast um and that would be really nice in hummus then I got us some of this because I had this last time and it's incredible. And I got some chicken koftas, um, some hummus. I got this one with chickpeas and spicy zoog. I'm not sure, but that looks nice. Then I also picked up as well some Tex-Mex dips. I've been obsessed with Tex-Mex dips ever since we had them. That's such a mouthful. Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex. Tex. -Mex. Tex I can't say it quickly. Um, but yeah, I got these for the Doritos and then also some sweet potato falafels, which are delish. Then I also picked up as well, I'm going to make the peanut butter cups tomorrow, guys. Um, but I picked up these. How cute. Little yellow ones and also ones with bees. So I'm going to make the peanut butter cups in these. And then whilst I was down the cake aisle, waitress have the best selection of like home baking bits. I found these little mini loaf cases which i thought would be so cute to make like individual banana breads which i think i might do in next week's um weekly vlog i'm gonna make like little different loaf cakes and if you haven't tried tony's chocolate oh my god you need to it's incredible i actually received one of these in a pr box um a while ago me and jamie were obsessed with it it was the nicest chocolate i've ever tried and i didn't realize they do it in um waitrose i think the one we had was sea salt nougat but this one is honey nougat which we're going to give a try tonight very excited then i also just picked up as well some chocolate for the peanut butter cups You're so cute. Good morning, everyone. Another day, another smoothie bowl. I go to bed thinking about these and wake up, and it's the first thing on my mind. Um, so I just feel like this is going to be an everyday thing now. Also, I used some of the dragon fruit one today, 
and some of my new granola. So, mmm, yum. The granola is amazing. Don't know how I feel about the dragon fruit. I've never actually tried an actual dragon fruit ever. This sounds really weird. It kind of just tastes of fruit. Like it doesn't have like a distinct taste. And I think because I put banana in it again, I can kind of just taste like banana. So basically I've just got some pink banana. Anyway, happy Thursday everyone. I have had a very productive morning today. I washed my hair, um, blow dried my hair. Also, my fringe is almost long enough to go behind my ears, which makes me very, very happy. I also filmed a few little campaign bits. Um, I edited this video up to like here so I'm feeling very organized um and I can't, I'm really distracted because Tilly is on that chair opposite me and she's just staring at me and it's really really cute hello hello all I can see is just one one little orange eye peeking at me over the coffee table okay plans for today are I'm gonna finish my smoothie bowl um, and then I've got a few other bits to do on my computer and then I'm gonna head over to Dobby's. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little mooch around there. I also, as well, before I pop out to Dobby's, need to have a little planning sesh. Um, I kind of need to think about what videos I want to do before the move um, because obviously when we move house, it's gonna mainly be vlogs, obviously because um, of moving vlogs. And I kind of want to film a morning routine whilst the house is still kind of like in order um, for you guys because I feel like I haven't done an updated one. My last one was in maybe like January. Um, so I think I might film one of those next week. Um, and yeah, I just need to plan the next few weeks really. Yeah, I just need to sort of like plan my videos, plan my week, plan when I'm going to start organising things as well because I kind of want to make a few days free for that but yeah that's the plan for today i was never the one to write up a song for just anyone i i was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh because i've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I'm home from Dobby's and this is the only thing that I purchased because I thought these would make the perfect little cupcake cases for my peanut butter cups which I'm just about to make. They're a little bit smaller than these ones so I just thought they would work better. Um, so what I'm going to do is I bought milk and dark chocolate so I'm going to melt them both together to kind of make a, a milk dark um, and then I'm going to pop a little layer of the chocolate in the cupcake cases and then add a dollop of peanut butter i'm going to use crunchy one because i love like the actual shells of peanuts that you get in there so i'm going to use like half a teaspoon of that and then top it with chocolate again and then i'll pop them in the freezer and i think to myself and i'm thinking out loud we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you make Good morning me everyone, happy Friday it's launch day. The day is finally here. I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling excited. I feel like I need to do something to distract myself today. Um, so I thought, what better way to spend my morning than cleaning? Um, I've really, really, really neglected cleaning over the past, I'd probably say month. Ever since we got a moving date, um, I feel like this house has just gone to shit a little bit. Um, but no, we've just, we said the other day that we've kind of just like, 
given up because we know that we're moving and everything we do to this house almost feels a little bit pointless um but in the same breath i'm craving the clean house feeling like i love that feeling so much so i thought this morning because i've got a little bit of free time today and i also kind of want to like do something to distract myself from the launch because it's one of those you know when you're looking forward to something so much time goes so incredibly slow um it's one of those so i feel like i just need to i need something to focus on and when i actually get into cleaning as well i do find it like extremely therapeutic it's just it's just hyping myself up to do it it takes a lot um, but I know once I've, I'm in the flow, once I've got some music on um, and I'm kind of like in the middle of it, I will actually enjoy it. Um, I think the heat as well just makes me unmotivated to do anything. I'm so unproductive in the summer. Um, I really, really, really am. I find it just so hard to motivate myself to do anything. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a list as always. Um, and I'm going to set myself like an hour and a half timer. I always do this when I clean. It helps so much. If you're like me and you're lacking motivation to clean or do anything, um, set yourself a timer. It literally works wonders. I find for me it stops me procrastinating um, and it, it kind of gives me a little bit of a challenge. I like to like see if I can beat the timer and I don't know, it just, it makes, it mentally just makes me so much more productive. Um, and also a list as well, just simply making a list of the things that you like really, really want to get done today. Um, that really helps as well. Actually, before we clean, I want to show you guys the peanut butter cups from yesterday because they turned out so good. We have eaten um, quite a few of them and my friend Gina actually popped over yesterday um, because she got us a moving in card and also these super cute biscuits, let me show you. But she said the biscuits came sooner than she was expecting so she didn't obviously want them to go off. So she said, sorry they're a little early but they are so, so cute. Gina's my hairdresser by the way, guys. Um, you would have seen Gina on my vlogs before but let me show you these biscuits look how cute these are oh my god so cute oh my god so cute so yeah she popped in last night and we had a cup of tea and we had a peanut butter cup which she said was really really delicious yeah the peanut butter cups they're so nice do you know what when i was actually um making them i was kind of thinking is this a little bit pointless? Like, should I have just like, should I have just bought Reese's butternut cups? But then when I tried them, I'm like, wow, they're so much nicer because you can completely customize them. Like you can use whatever peanut butter you want, um, whatever chocolate you want. And they're really, really cute as well. Let me pop you guys down so I can show you them in their full glory. So this is what they look like in their little cups. Let me get one out so I can show you because, oh, that was a bit of a fail. Look! So nice. And then, and then when you bite into them, obviously all the peanut butter is in the middle. They're so nice. Would highly recommend making because you can use your favorite chocolate, favorite peanut butter, um, and then just keep them in the fridge like this. I really wanted to make as well these little, um, little banana they were like little banana circles and they were they had peanut butter in between two like little banana peanut butter sandwiches and they were dipped in chocolate and then frozen they look delicious i think i might make those next week anyway guys i am gonna crack on with cleaning this kitchen is an absolute mess um i always like to start in the kitchen i feel like the kitchen is the biggest job um so once that's kind of done it motivates me even more to just like do the rest of the house. I think I'm gonna go get my iPad actually and pop some YouTube on and catch up on some people's videos because I find sometimes it's nice just to have something like, like have a YouTube video on because again, I find it kind of like takes my mind off cleaning. Anyway, I'm gonna stop procrastinating now and crack on with my cleaning morning.
that just happened. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so funny. I'm fucking around with a stress for launch day and I've gone to crush it out of the fridge. Bloody throwing tuna everywhere. <laughs> the cat food. sitting there laughing at me. Do you know why it was so funny smell. though? Because he got his can out the fridge and this cat food just like went in slow motion and just like <laughs> bounced and it was the way that you just stared at it like in disbelief. <laughs> How are you feeling on launch day? The 11th of June what? 2021. I feel like... I'm actually wasted away because I've been trapped in that room for about. It's so hot in the office as well, guys. Weeks. He was li he's literally been in there well, like every night stressed. until like 1 a.m. sorting the website it's, out. All of a sudden, it's been like, all this shit he's doing now. Yeah. And uh, I've got I've not got many hours to do it, Gemma, have I? Oh, well, am I clearing that tuna up? Then? You said you were. Wow. <laughs> Drops the you tuna out the fridge. And then Muggins here, oh God, after I've just hoovered, Look. just finished hoovering guys, and this one... Let's put it like this, Gemma. ...knocks it out of the fridge. It's my fault Successful somehow. launch day? Unsuccessful launch day. It's what, it depends you. on that tuna? Depends on if I've got time to clean it up. I'll do it. I'm only joking. No, I'll, I'll do it. I will do, do it. it. No, you, you won't. Say you... I, I've, I've got, got it on camera. You were about to walk off yeah, with know, also the last can. the camera. It's launch day, how do you feel? Oh, a bag of emotions. So I feel nervous. I feel nervous I feel, too. I, I, do, I feel like everything, so we've got everything in place now. So it's been a bit of a process getting there, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah. T minus. Got one more box to put on. Everything else is on the four website, and a half ready to hours. go. Wait. Yeah, four and a half hours. T minus, that's, uh, that's space related as well. <laughs> No, that's on X on the beach. Oh. Hmm. Where they're like T minus ten hours till the ta time. tablet of terror. Uh, yeah, I weren't I weren't doing it to be spacey. I'm sorry to disagree. No, I don't know if it is or not. Actually, no. Maybe look. I can't concentrate on anything <laughs> apart from HTML and CSS right now. Okay? Go on, man. Bye. I'll do the tuna. Get, Typical. Get tuna on. Okay, guys. My time went off about ten minutes ago. Just. Oh my god, please ignore this. I am so hot. I am sweating so much. Um, but I'm feeling good. I actually got so much done. I have done all of the kitchen. Um, all of like the dishwasher and stuff like that. The second load of washing of the day has just finished as well. So I'm going to hang that out. Um, I also hoovered all the stairs, which is the bane of my life. I hoovered kitchen, mopped the kitchen floors. I've hoovered the living room. I've done pretty much everything that I wanted to do. The only thing left on my list was the bathrooms which i'm actually going to do in the morning because it's just so hot now like i always find like the afternoon is really hot in this house because the sun rises at the front of the house and it kind of like heats the house up like a bit of a greenhouse um definitely get an aircon in the new house that's literally like number one on my list i want an aircon unit everywhere in the house how amazing would that be but yeah feeling productive i've got the clean house feeling it feels good if you are putting off cleaning this is your sign to do it because you will feel amazing after you've done it um i've got a few little bits that i need to finish up like how to hang my washing up um i also need to just like pop some zoflora in the sink and stuff like that just some finishing touches and then i am gonna have a nice cold shower I might wash my hair again. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Um, don't mind me, just gonna go and clean, clean the tuna up. We got us an old girl of these t-shirts. Oh, I'm so stressed. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. It feels surreal. Guys, it's six minutes to six. It's 17.54. He's got champagne ready. Fun fact, this has been sat in my car for it's over a year. Um, the salesman actually gave me this when I first bought my car and it, I mean, it's come in handy today. <laughs> yeah. That was literally a year put, and three months ago. I put it in the, uh, in put the, it in the fridge this, in the fridge this morning. Champagne. fulfillment guy on the laptop. I've got the laptop here, by the way. I'm excited. I feel like really... Today's been a really weird day, like I feel like I've been a little bit vacant today um, because it just feels like really surreal. And he's come to join us for the launch. 
Dilly. Hello. Oh my god, it's 17.59. 45 seconds until launch. On, I've got a little clock. So on the iPhone, the little second hand ticks around the edge. Oi. Is it now? Literally. <gasps> oh my now. god, this feels so weird. It's open. It's open. It is open. I'm gonna put it on my story. I'm gonna look. <gasps> it's open! Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god, that's so many people in literally that'll a look, second. Yeah, that'll update as well. Look. Boom. My heart's going. Quick, let's pop. I can, I can hear you like, having heart palpitations. <laughs> Whoa! Yay! Yay! I could hear, like I could really hear your heart pumping. Oh my god! I need to put this story up. This is so exciting. We don't have um champagne glasses, everyone, because Flutes. we're not champagne drinkers. Oh, look! Why? That's a lot of people. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> New orders. Oh look, they're all popping through on the thing. I'm so happy, like, but... Do you feel relieved? <laughs> yes. Do you feel so relieved? Do you feel like the months of stress How have just How stressed have I been this past Jamie week? Jamie has been not a pleasure to be around, I won't lie. But now I feel like maybe I, I got you back. I haven't, I know I haven't. Maybe I've got nice you back now. I literally said to you earlier, I was like, I can't wait until this is all over and you can have nice me back yeah, again. Yeah, I can't wait too. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Hey. Oh my God. Unreal. Oh, champagne's nice. I like the champagne life. So I've just ordered us our favourite pizza to celebrate. We love this pizza, don't we? Mm, Jamie yeah, still, so Teddy also loves this pizza yeah. and he has smelt it straight away. Excuse me, sir. It's because Jamie always gives him little bits of ham off the pizza and he seems to think every time this little box arrives that it's his. Thank you all so much. Literally. Like, wow. It's been... I can't believe it. It feels just really, like, really overwhelming. Like, I feel very much like I haven't taken it in yet. Yeah, we've pretty much sold out of all of our stock so quickly, which is crazy. <laughs> and I just can't believe it. Like, I, I still... less than an hour. <laughs> literally, isn't it? Yeah, so thank you all so much. Like, you, you really... You love it so... And that's like, for us, that's massive because we've put, as we said, months into this. We weren't sure how it was going to be accepted, were we? Or, well, you never you never know. You can always gonna think something's going to go really well, but yeah, you, I mean, you, you, love you never it. know. I love it. To be fair as well, we're the only ones that actually felt it and like had it <laughs> that's on. That's what and... we were saying earlier. Like, we're the only two people. Well, obviously, like, at the start, we were the only two people who actually have, like, seen it and felt it and worn it. And then we kind of, like, went to the photo shoot and everyone loved it there. And yeah. then friends and family started to see it and they loved it, which kind of, like, gave us a little bit of faith. But yeah. to see how many of you ordered things tonight and how quickly and it's basically that all of our stock is now gone, apart from, like, a few little pieces, is actually mind blown i feel like it hasn't gone into my head yet but yeah it's been a really really great evening um the only thing that was a little bit sad was quite a few of you um weren't able to get your sizes and they'd sold out which made me like which just makes me feel really sad because i hate the thought of anyone missing out um and i'm also very aware that we are only shipping in the UK at the moment. We literally got as much stock as we could for our first launch. We though, did. So like, like we, we got quite a lot of stock as well, but we this was- We did get a lot of stock. We wanted this collection to be like a limited, small, taster of what our brand's gonna be kind of collection. Yeah, this wasn't supposed, so you wanted to launch in autumn, didn't you? I wanted to wait and until I, autumn. I said, well, perhaps we should do like a smaller drop beforehand and just like a few items just so we can sort of get to grips with such rolling. things as international shipping, the website and integrations with fulfillment centers and stuff. And um, yeah, just we started out. Gemma started adding things on. Well, it started with t-shirts. Jamie was like, let's just do t-shirts. And I was yeah, like, just no, like, it's not enough. Like, you, I, like, I didn't feel like, I felt, no, you guys need this to be more special than that. So and this is the drama that Gemma causes for me. I was yeah. like, let's do t-shirts. And I was like, let's do hoodies. And I was like, hang on, we can't do that without bottoms. Let's do shorts. And then I was like, and it just no, now we need bralettes to go with the shorts. But I'm really, I really am, I think it was a good little, like, capsule collection for our first launch yeah it was really like it 
don't get me wrong, it was really nice and it all went together really well. It was me here like, I want hats, socks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just was adding we things to have this. We a few things, oh obviously we've got a few things in the... Uh, so our next launch guys well. is going to be autumn. Um, it's going to be our autumn winter launch but in between now and then we have got a few little surprises up our sleeves which will be announced as soon and as actually, very very soon actually. I'm actually, I'm probably just as excited for this next thing that's coming. So out. am I. Like I think people are going to absolutely love this and we've got a lot of these coming. I think you guys will really really love the next item that we have. Um, it's a little bit different. Can and we say it's an accessory? Well, you just said it. It's, it's not clothing, but it's something that you guys, I feel like, will just... Pra it's practical and it's got meaning. Like, you got, you guys will really like I it. I think it's a really nice, like, useful little item as well. Any guesses? But yeah, I just wanted to say about also... I had quite a lot of comments and DMs about um, the fact that we only ship to the UK, mm -hmm. which, to be honest... Wait, it's oh. my I, I should have addressed that like I, I should have said that before I should have like made a bigger point of that before launch. but also we were we were trying to get that sorted ready for the launch like but it, it was so we had a call with our accountant and we didn't realize how complex it would actually be to ship we just thought it would be you know a bit extra um delivery charges which it usually is like when i order things from america it's just mm. cost me a little bit more but the amount of like the the how complicated it was like it was insane so, wasn't it yeah so basically what it is there's a lot of paper we can't just send from the uk to the usa for instance like a hundred pounds worth of clothes because that's over over the export import limit i mean i'm sure there are people that just do that but we have to do it properly like if we're going to do it we need to do it properly so that's why this first launch was going to be just a t-shirt you know also just a few things just to give you a bit of a an idea of what we're about and the quality that we're going to produce for you guys um and and also so that you know like the brand is actually there because i feel like as much as i can keep being like something's coming something's coming something's coming i can mm. only do that for so many years i've been doing it since <laughs> literally 2019 and it's nice to now it's actually have a product um but i want I you guys to know on that. yeah definitely and we are working on getting international shipping for our next launch we will keep you updated and i just want to say I am really, really sorry if you didn't get your hands on anything you wanted to get your hands on, whether it was out of stock, whether you were outside of the UK, um, for any reason. Like, I am really sorry because I know how horrible it is when you do really want something and you can't get it. And the thought of that makes me, literally makes me feel really, really upset. But also thank you as well for that, for wanting it. Yeah, you know I mean? definitely. Like... But yeah, guys, thank you so much for being amazing as always. Um, we really appreciate you and what an amazing evening. Anyway, we are going to love you and leave you. We are going to go and enjoy our pizza, watch our film and... I can't wait to eat that. I feel like me Celebrate and you can catch up pizza. now because I feel like we haven't really like... Me and Jane, we haven't oh, really spoken because right. like obviously the launch happened. Then there was a few little bits that Jamie needed to do. And then I feel like we haven't really like actually had a conversation me and you about it. <laughs> I said to Jamie, he can do quote of the day today. I do. Oh. Just tell us one of your faves. It can be short and sweet and not life's a beach because oh. I've just got, a, <laughs> I've got a horrible gut feeling that that's going to be your quote. And you have to read it in like a calming sleep voice, like Doxy. Tilly's just uh, giving a scratch post a bash. Oh, I like this one. This is this is actually one of my favourites, right? This is one of your favourite quotes. It's not related, so I'm going to do another one afterwards. Resentment. Quotes, <laughs> quotes of the day. <laughs> Resentment is like drinking poison. No, no, and waiting stop. For the other person I was going to gonna say that one. When You know when you said what's one of your favourite quotes? I was going to reel that one off. Really? Honestly, I was going to say drinking poison, no, being angry at someone mm. is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Yeah. I was going to say that. You drink what? Now? Today? When I was picking this off the pizza box, you know when you were like, oh, I can't think of one? That's right. I, when you said what? It's because we spent all it. of our time together, my love. That's one of my favourite quotes because I think it puts a lot into perspective because it just shows how pointless being angry is. 
especially or at being someone. Resentful of something. Yeah. Just get on with it. Because you're only affecting yourself. God damn it, we're on the same page. Comparison is the thief of joy. That's a great quote. That's another good one. Anyway, um. Any more for any more? Or have you finished your quotes? Oh, wait a minute. See, you're enjoying this more than yeah, you no, thought, I do. aren't I, you? I love this. We love quote of the day, don't we? I'm going to find my favourite person. The website just came up and everything that sold out on that page. Oh my god. I don't know who my favourite person is, guys. Jim oh. will tell you. Don't even ask him, guys. I'm sick of hearing his name. Oh no, we can't see him. He's too overexposed. Oh no. Is it... You're not going to read an Elon <laughs> Musk quote. I'm um, sorry. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. I don't like these Elon ones. He pushes boundaries. I feel like they're just not relatable. Elon's just not a relatable guy. <laughs> but he is. No, he's not. He's very out there. Like, he, no, he's controversial. Do you think? Yeah. Why? Because I he's just got lots of, of like, weird theories things. about things. That, like, I just think Elon's not a... Elon's not my inspiration. Oh, I don't want to talk about him. We're alive while he's alive. I don't want to talk about him. Hi right, everyone, it's been a journey, it's been a week, thank you so much for spending the week with me, um, it's been lovely as always and I will see you guys in my next video, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for being so amazing on our launch, we are super grateful and we love you all so much. And we've got so much more to come. We've got so much more to come. Oh my god, autumn launch. Don't even get me started because <laughs> it's gonna be incredible. Cozy clothes are coming at you. I'm I'm just craving wearing cozy cozy clothes right now. Summer can So Gemma shows me these things, she's like, I want this fleece. And I'm like, hmm, it has to be sustainable. And then I'm on a mad sourcing mission with our supplier <laughs> to find a mill that produces sustainable Whatever it is Gemma wants. Yeah, I just yeah, I just sit there and I'm like, I'd like to create this, please, Jamie. Send it to him and he's like, <laughs> right. Hi right, guys, love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.